Today we have a PSA submission preview. Just wanted to show you guys what I'm sending to PSA currently. This is for the new uh, special that is coming out. I believe it is $14 a card. So I had to get a little order together, 15 card minimum, I believe, if you are a PSA member. And first up, obviously, we got this Mewtwo V-Star. Now I do do pre-grades on all of these, so we'll check these out. Now this card, let's see what I put. Okay, so I had a 10. This should be an outright 10 uh, on this card for the pre-grade. This card has come up a lot in value. Really stoked to be sending this card. And speaking of Charizard in the background, now this card I traded uh, from one of my buddies. And this card is not perfect. As you can see on the pre-grade, I have between a 9 and a 10 with it hitting that 9. Now, there is a low chance, low chance that this can hit a 10. It just depends on the grader and at the price. I figured I was going to risk it and send it in anyways. So next up, we got a uh, some Scarlet Violet base here. This is the beautiful looking Gardevoir. I love this card. I love Scarlet and Violet base. I have it between a 9 and a 10 with hitting the 10. So low chance at a 9, high chance at a 10. This is, this is kind of how I do it when I'm not 100% certain. Sometimes it, because grading is so subjective, you know. We got the Entei V from Crown Zenith. Now, I need this card in a 10 to complete the the dogs, the legendary dogs. And I have this one outright hitting a 10. This card looked real clean. Should, be, should come back a 10, be real happy with it. Now, this card, I graded two of these. If you guys watched uh, my last submission, I graded two of these. They both got 10s. And this one I have leaning towards the 9 with a possibility at a 10. Now, just because of this price point and how these cards have gone up in value is kind of why I'm sending these. I'll talk about some of these lesser cards that we're getting into here as to like why I'm sending them. Like even, even th this card has some decent value as well. Zation V, Crown Zenith. Um, I have this between a 9 and a 10, hitting a 10 though. So low chance at a 9, high chance at a 10. Then, uh, if you guys watch one of my other videos, I bought a lot of these uh, Umbreons to potentially grade, and this was the only copy that I thought was 10 worthy. I didn't even, I didn't think it was worth it on any of the others. I thought they were all either 9s, and that was the only 10. Uh, another Crown Zenith card here. As you can see, there's a little bit of a trend going on. I think Crown Zenith is definitely worth grading. The Deoxys V-Star, I have this outright at a 10. Card looked pretty good. Uh, then this was one I pulled, a um, little bit lesser value, the Alakazam EX from Paldean Fates. Have this one, high chance with the 10, low chance at a 9. Cool looking card. Then the Zamazenta V, once again from Crown Zenith. I think I graded two of these in my last order. Same thing, between a 9 and a 10, hitting the 10, hopefully. Then we got the Reggie Drago V, I believe this is from Silver Tempest. I honestly can't remember where I got this card. I think it came in a lot or something on eBay. But I have this outright hitting a 10. It looked way too good to not hit a 10. Then we have the Dark Rai V Star, another great looking card from Crown Zenith at a 10. Now, a lot of these cards, uh, I tried to. This, there's duplicates of like this guy right here, the Zoroark. Um, Crown Zenith as well. I have this one. Oh, you can't see it. I have this one hitting a 10 outright. And some of these cards I will be selling. Some of these cards I will be keeping. It just kind of depends on how it kind of rolls out. Now, the second one here, I think, had between a 9 and a 10, but leaning 10. So, um, and I sent one of these last order, this Reggie, Reggie Gigas. Um, I did not hit the 10, and I thought for sure it was a 10. Um, it hit a 9, but this one I have at a 10. Then, let's see, this I picked up from a local local card um, store for like a few bucks. Not the most valuable card, not even the most valuable card in a 10, but um, it looked good. And I have it between a 9 and a 10 with a high chance at a 10, though. Um, this is one of those cards I talked about having some potential upside, so um, that's why I'm grading that. And then... This Zacian uh, is probably not worth a whole lot, even in a 10 currently, but there is profit to be made here, and it's hard to see the writing there, but I do have this outright as a 10. So that is going to do it for this order. Um, I wish I had a lot more cards that I really wanted to send, but they they just didn't meet the, 
I, I thought for sure they were going to be nines or below. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So we went two cards over the minimum there. And real happy about that. Um, should be fun. I love, I absolutely love sending cards out to get graded, even the lower dollar ones. Um, if you guys watch like my latest eBay recap, um, there is profit to be made there depending on what you get the cards at. And if you're sending at a special for 14 bucks a card, you know, there is potential there. So this Pokemon special is really cool. I'm hoping maybe to get another one before the end of the month. Uh, I don't know if that will happen, but, um, yeah, that's kind of just my philosophy on grading. Um, I've talked about it before, but I, I grade and invest to grow my collection. I flip some, keep some. It's kind of just a, a cycle that I keep on going. But yeah, that's going to do it for this one, guys. I just wanted to show you my little uh, PSA preview that I had going out. And uh, I'll make a video when it comes back. I believe on the last Pokemon card order, I had an 80% gem rate. So I was pretty happy about that. Hopefully this one continues that trend. Um, I think it will. Once again, it can depend on the grader, though. You get, a, you get an upset guy or someone damaging your cards. It does happen. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Um, and remember, it was never a phase.